thank you for inviting me. So it was really interesting to see the two presentations. I will try to give a little bit a personal approach to your topic because um, I was working, working for 15 years at the Faculty of Spatial Planning at TU Dortmund and now I'm working at a Faculty of Architecture in Aachen. So I want to um, explain you a little bit um, how I came from my research approach to a kind of teaching approach, which is now called transforming city regions. And on the other hand, I want to show you how our teaching and research was influencing our planning, planning strategy and the other way around, because now we are working on a kind of planning strategy called law. That means for the agglomeration between Mars and Rhine. And these two, um, two approaches I want to uh, present in my um, introduction. So uh, during my work in the Ruhr Valley, I was uh, studying a lot the urban transformation of this former industrialized area. And on the first hand, the uh, first step, we worked on a kind of analysis of the whole region called layers of the region to make clear how this region was transformed during the last 150 years. Then we looked on the people, on the histories of the people in the region and looked what was, were their approaches to have a quality of life in the region. And at the end, we came to some spatial strategies for the region. And this strong, let's say, research within different research projects brought me to a kind of approach to implement an international master program called Transforming City Regions. But what was interesting in our research was that we combined the rural region and on the uh, left side above you see the rural region and compared it with other metropolitan cities like London, like Istanbul, Barcelona, and so on. And this fits me to what Kobe explained, the big chances of a polycentric region and a polycentric uh, strategy. So looking back to the rural region, we saw how the industrialization influenced the spatial strategy of such a region not only the smartphone, yeah, but the, the power of working, the power of industry and um, people coming to this region to understand what are the opportunities in the field of work, in the field of um, neighborhood conditions and so on. So these two slides show you the situation of the same site in the year nine, in 1900 and in the year 2010. So, and you see what happened in the rural region. This is a picture from Essen, from the new Thyssen head uh, uh, quarter. But uh, what I want to explain is that um, regarding the international building exhibition as a kind of new planning approach, the darkly not used industry is now not at all regarded as an unuseful um, fabric, but as a kind of new awareness of a site and a new awareness of a region. So what we uh, did in our research was to identify a unique approach on urbanity. We called it at the end, urbanity, that means when we look on the different talents and characteristics of a region, you, you see here some maps, you understand the specific conditions of such a region. And this is really important to come to new approaches. And one of our main findings was, on the one hand, to look on the region because we have a landscape, we have the river Emscher and other different um, regional rivers, 
But on the other hand, we have the level of the quarter, which is really important. Quarter means neighborhood, the district uh, environment, the people living in the different districts. And uh, my approach was, and there was a strong discussion about this, to say that the city is not important as a level. So we have the neighborhood and we have the region. And the city is, let's say, somehow something in between. And out of these different approaches of research, we come, came to the conclusion that it is really important to take this outcome um, as a fundament for a new master program called Transforming City Regions. And what you see here, these are different books out of different conferences, a conference about the polycentric city regions in transformation in the rural area in 2050. Then we focused on public space as a backbone of the region. And we focused at uh, the end on um, the strategy of urban integration. So this was my first approach dealing with uh, the strategy and the research of the rural region. And now working in Aachen, we have a, a different background and the focus is a little bit different. And now we are looking how we can develop a region a little bit um, by overcoming the national borders and overcoming, let's say, the different interests of the country. And law means the agglomeration between mass and tribe. Uh, four years ago, I started with my planning office in um, working on an agglomeration concept for the metropolitan area Cologne and Bonn. So the question of Cologne and Bonn was, how can we develop such a metropolitan area which is getting more and more dense in a sustainable way? And how can we plan for more than 200,000 people without um, having an urban disaster in this metropolitan um, area? So this question, how can we use the bigger scale, the scale of the region to bring such a metropolitan area into a balance? was one of the main questions. And this strategy, the, the cologne bonn agglomeration concept, we um, linked with a, uh, with a strong uh, participation process. You see here, not the normal people, the uh, people of the region, but those people who are stakeholders, who take the decisions on the administrative level but they were really strongly involved into this project, into this, it was a kind of planning uh, project. And at the end, we came to a kind of agglomeration concept, how to develop the built environment, but also how to use the landscape and the mobility uh, to develop a sustainable balance between the different cities, Cologne and Bonn, but also to take into account the reach, regional approach. So when I started here my um, new position at the RWTH Aachen, I was asked for my federal minister for um, urban affairs and um, business affairs to um, be supervisor of the agglomeration process of the Rheinische Revier. That means um, the mining district between Cologne and Aachen. I have the feeling that you uh, um, know a little bit about this region. Uh, at the moment, it looks like this, but the political decision is that in 2038, um, the coal production has to stop. And that the question is, how should the new future of such a really interesting landscape, which is the biggest landscape construction in Europe should look, look like. So it is a big challenge. 
uh, to answer the question regarding these big areas which are under construction and in transformation, what should the new shape look like? And we are currently discussing with students, but also within our project in total, what ways into the future are possible to plan for more than 300,000 people in this region. Uh, on the one hand, we discussed about strengthening um, the different backbones, um, the um, tracks of the railways and so on, but we were also looking on a kind of polycentric development. We are discussing a new city within the whole dist uh, district or for example, to strengthen the Erft corridor. And my um, last message is, uh, looking at the strategy of the Rheinische Revier, we were asked um, to link the Rheinische Revier with a new strategy for Südlimburg and to combine the different strategies. And when you look on such a landscape in Südlimburg, you see that this is a similar, like in the region of Cologne-Born or in the Rheinische Revier. That means the landscape is not stopping at the federal or national borders, but we have similar problems, similar strategies. And now we are working on this kind of integrated strategy for spatial development in Südlimburg, but having the view on a all regional context that means not stopping at the national borders, but having the same approach as we did in Cologne Bonn, as we are now working on the Rheinische Revier and in parallel to Südlimburg. And this is my message that we have to link um, our outcome out of the research projects and introduce them into our planning strategies and in our teaching strategies and the other way around. And my main message is that I'm convinced that the future of the city is the region and it is the uh, um, international region and not the federal region. Thank you.